Hey guys, Lifter here, and welcome back to Terraria on the Calamity mod. So, I did do a little bit of stuff since last episode. I got some more potions and placed a few, like, hard lanterns and campfire for the, uh, goddess lady that we had to fight. But I do want to do just a little bit of grinding beforehand, you know, fight the, uh, what's his name? Fight Golem so that we can get the hatchet, because that would be useful later on, and try to get the paladin's hammer. Because I want to try and upgrade, uh, this little ponage hammer right here. And I think that would be pretty cool to do, so we're going to do a little bit of stuff like that beforehand. So we do have three power cells here, and we do have our altar, so I'm going to place it up here. And then let's summon the guy. He shouldn't be too bad to fight now that we have, like, good gear, but we just want to try to get the hatchet. That's all we need. All right, and our first bag. Actually, let me uh, clean up my inventory first, and then we'll see our first bag. All right, now it's our first bag, and yes, we got our first try. All right, we don't really need to worry about too much past that. Well, I mean, besides getting the few items here but that requires us to fight the goddess lady first all right i think i'm gonna take my hand at the zerk potion here try to see if we can get any paladin fellas to uh show up and hopefully not die from the uh over amount of mobs that spawn in the dungeon the dungeon is really terrifying i'm not gonna lie all right we got a paladin guy up here gonna try to just kind of focus on him then uh okay yeah he did drop it i was about to say ah oh, he did not drop it but he did perfect man we are really lucky right now that's uh, two for two for items we wanted. All right, I'm going to teleport home because I don't want to die now. But now we can probably upgrade our hammer. Let's see. Hammer. No. Actually, I'm in the potions. Hang on. Hammer. Uh, punish hammer. No. What are we missing then? We need scoria bar and ashes of calamity. I think we need scoria bars. I think that's the issue. Yeah, we need more Scoria bars. Uh, how do we get that again? I know part of it is from the Abyss, I believe. Let's see, Devilfish. Uh, I think we can pretty much find that in the Underworld, maybe? I gotta remember how I gotta find these Scoria bars. Give me one quick second to, uh, research it again. Alright, so I did just a little research. We can either fight Ravager a few times, or we can go back to the Abyss. I'm gonna try to fight Ravager, see how well that would go without any, like, potions. If that doesn't go so well, we'll go back to the Abyss, because I really don't want to go back there. So, we need the Death Wish Soul, I believe it's called. Uh, yes, this. But well, it should be a little more easier now to defeat him, since we have the, uh, Arc of the Elements. We do have to be careful, because I think he does do the debuff where we can't, uh, fly anymore. Alright, this was actually pretty easy, so, ooh, new personal best. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty easy. Aha, we got enough Scoria bars. All right, I'm going to deposit everything because we do need to keep it in our inventory. But now we should be able to make the next stage to our hammer here. Yep. Fallen Paladin hammer. Click. And what do we need for the next stage here? Uh, Galactica Singularity and Luminite bars. I don't know if I have enough of each. Uh, Lumen... Yeah, no, we had to find Moonlord. All right, so we got a little more stuff than I promised what we'd uh, do today, but it's going to be worth it. At least I hope so. Okay, so I'm going to summon Moonlord in three, two, one. It should be a little bit easier to fight him this time since we don't have to worry so much about anything else. We're pretty good with our armor and uh, attack-wise and stuff like that, so hopefully it goes pretty good. All right, that did not go so well. Let me try that again. All right, there we go. Hopefully, that's the last time we need to uh, fight Moonlord ever, but I have a feeling we're going to have to fight him a few more times. All right, let's make our Luminite, and then we need to finish off our hammers like cause... Uh, no. Uh, Contempt. Okay, Stellar Contempt. So let's craft you, and then I think we should probably reforge you. Let me check what's the best modifier. All right, just like majority of stuff, it is golly that is the best, so hopefully we don't- Ooh, I was about to uh, re-click it, I was about to say, hopefully we don't miss it, but, uh, was this close? This close. But I think it should be time to summon her. So let's see, uh, when used in hollow or underground, so let's go to our little hollow biome and summon her, I guess. Oh, I hope this goes pretty well. We've had so many attempts against her and it never worked out well. All right, so far it's going pretty good. Not uh, too shabby. Did get hit a little bit here and there. Woo, gotta, gotta be careful about those fire there. But yeah, not too shabby. Ooh, almost kind of screwed up right there. Ooh, okay, gotta be careful here. I hate this part, okay? Oh, we had adrenaline. Oh yeah, I forgot she does have like this weird laser stage you gotta be careful about. I can't remember which stage it is, but gotta be very careful about it. Man, we are shredding her with this hammer, though. I am loving it. You know, I just realized we've been going through this entire boss fight without my potions. Um, not sure why I wasn't buffed up. 
but we've been doing really good without them, to be honest. All right, she's gonna have her little minions here soon, so we gotta be careful about that. God, I hate her little minions. They're so annoying. Then again, she's just an annoying boss to be around. Whoo, almost got hit there. On the plus side, we've had a uh, few adrenaline rushes right here. Haven't had this many against her uh, with the previous few fights we've done. All right, two of her things are down. I just got the little one here. All right, it's just her. Feel pretty confident about this fight, I'm not gonna lie, even though we still have like 300,000 we need to complete. All right, we just got a few more hammer swings left. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go. Woo! Oh, does she have one more face? Ooh, we gotta be careful then if she does. Nope. All right, we're good. Ooh, that was pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so it looks like we got a few items here. Not really gonna use the wings. Not sure what this is to do, but uh, it does something, I guess. I'm gonna put it in my little uh, storage container there. Well, let's open up the treasure bag, and we got our divine geode and unholy essence, and a summoning thing. I'll take it, you know, might as well use it. Uh, can we use profane rock for anything? More so decoration, so I'm not gonna use that. Uh, don't think we need to worry about this. So I'm going to sell it. And that's magic, so I'm going to sell that. What does this do? I want to see uh, what it summons. Oh, it summons a little uh, geo thing. Cool. Or a blade. Sorry, it's a holy blade. But now we can make the Seeking Scorcher. So let's craft you. And we can go and reforge you as well. Aha, we got Godly. Let's go. Oh yeah, we can make the uh, Morning Star now as well. Uh, don't know if we have all the cores we need, but we'll find out. Uh, core... And we need sunlight, need some more of that, and havoc, just need some more of that. Let's deposit this, and let's make the morning star. Craft, take, and then we'll also reforge this as well. Alright, let's test this out. I've never used it before. Let's do it against a easy monster, I guess. So let's go with the Ravager here, and test him out. Ooh, holy Christ, look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, I know we are losing like a lot of health here, but that was really cool. Oh, I enjoyed that. I'm not going to lie. That was really cool. All right. All right. But we do need to make our next boss, which seems to be the Ceaseless Void. Uh, need some Luminite, Unholy, and Solar Fragments. So luckily we fought Moonlord, so we don't have to do it now. Oh, never mind. This is what the uh, rune is used for. Okay. Uh, rune... And let me grab you, and let's go to the, uh, well, I guess let's go to the, uh, dungeon. But I guess let's summon the darkness. Do we need to be deep inside the, uh, dungeon? Use in the dungeon. Alright, uh, I guess we gotta be deep inside. Isn't there, like, a little room? Yeah, this thing right here. Uh, let's go down there, then. You know, I should have probably brought some hearth lanterns, but you know what? I think we'll be fine. It shouldn't be too difficult, you know? But here we are. Do we summon it in here? Like, left click? Oh, left click, okay. Uh, I right-clicked for some reason. Uh, gotta be careful whatever those purple projectile things are. Or do we attack? Oh, we attacked them first. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna stick with the, uh, hammer here since it does, like, that explosion thing. And there's, like, multiple targets. I can at least take care of, like, multiple of these guys. And then for the main part here, I'll go for, like, the main guy. With the, uh, Morningstar here. Okay, he is screwing with my sense of gravitational pull here. Ooh, we took a lot of damage here. Ooh, a lot of damage there, too. Oh, this is so trippy. I don't like this. Ah! It's like a black hole. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, okay. Woo! So it's like I can only choose one direction I can go in for that. Like, I can't try to go, like, two directions, like, diagonally. I have to go one or the other. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, so he doesn't really affect me too much if I stay on the ground here, so I'm gonna kind of do that method here. It's not perfect, but hey, if it's gonna stop him from uh, dragging me everywhere, I'll take it. Hi, round two of that weird humbo bumbo jumbo whatever nonsense that was with the uh, black hole thing. Oh, we found a strat here. We found a strat. I can just barely go to the right, or not right, but to the left, and then go right. Oh, he actually got me that time. Okay, but we got a pretty good strat right there, not gonna lie. Oh, my God. Oh, man, that is... He is actually really tough. We actually might have to pot up for this one. Don't worry, guys. I did it again where I forgot to bring the hard lantern, but... I think we should be pretty fine because we will have potions and campfires actually placed down this time, so... We should be a little better than last time. All right, I think we're ready to go in three, 
two, one, kaboom. Okay, uh, he's been kind of messing me up, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm hopeful, I am hopeful. Um, not so much hopeful when I can't move whatsoever. I hate this, I hate his, uh, anti-gravity thing, whatever. On a plus side, he is almost dead here. He has about like 74,000, it looks like. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Still a lot to go, though, considering the fact that we can't move. Come on, move. Ah, I got hit. He is so close to dying. He is so close to dying. Come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Woo. Ah, he's doing another, uh, another stage of this. I am sick and tired of this stage. Dang it, I'm sick and tired of this boss. He is not my favorite so far. I hate any bosses that just does stuff like this, where it's like, oh yeah, your uh, your wings, your movement, nah, doesn't matter. You're just gonna float up and down in the air like a uh, like a paddle ball that just hasn't been hit in a while. Okay, come on, you're almost dead. You just need a few more hits. You just need a few more hits. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a few more. Just a few more. Oh crap, we're so dead. Yep. Oh my god, he did so much damage at the end there for no reason. Why? Why does he take control of my gravity? Oh, hey, did you guys know slime is uh, running from this guy? I didn't know that. I feel like, though, if we do get that uh, heart lantern and we actually play our cards correctly here, we can definitely do this. All right, so I made all the potions I can that I think would be even, like, remotely useful. I got the heart lantern. I think we should be good to go. I want to be done with this boss. I'm sick and tired of him. I just... Mmm... He is so annoying. I hate bosses that just take control of your uh, movement like that. Like, I think it's fine if it's like some type of challenge where it's like, oh yeah, you can't use your wings. You have to pretty much be on the ground. That's fine. But if you're like jumping up and down, up and down, kind of like the, uh, which, uh, which pillar is it? The, uh, Stardust pillar, I think? I think either Stardust or the, no, it's the bug one. What's the one is that? Which one is that? I can't remember the name, but it's the one for the Rangers. The one with like the weird alien bug things. I hate that pillar so much because of it. All right, I think we should be good now. So I'm gonna summon him, and I'm gonna hope for the best here. Have I mentioned how much I hate this boss yet? Because I really, and I mean really hate this boss. All right, we're back at where we were pretty much last time, where he's like at the final stage. Hopefully this time we can make it. I'm gonna try to mainly heal up before we fight him, like in this next stage. Like try to use my vampire knights as much as possible. Because I don't want to have the same thing happen last time where we just go straight from like full to nothing. All right, he's going to be almost there here soon. He's going to open up and then we can just pretty much use everything we have into him. All right, use everything. Use everything. I'm going to use the morning stars. Morning stars. Come on. Or not morning stars. The, uh, no, yeah, morning star. Okay. Uh, okay, guy, heal up now. Heal up now. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Please, 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 please. Just a few more, few more. Oh my God. Oh, I am sick and tired of him. I am glad that is over. Holy Christ. Okay. Uh, we did pretty good. I think we did pretty good that time. All right, let's see. Who do we have next? I know there's stuff we can open with that bag, but who do we have next? Stormweaver. All right. Uh, okay. Gotta use this in the Ceaseless Void. Where is that? I don't know if I know where the uh, Ceaseless Void is. Uh, use high in the sky or in space. Oh, okay. So I guess we use it in space. Well, I think I'm gonna open up the bag here. Ooh, strong mirror blade. Huh. Don't know how useful this will be, but I guess we'll see. Oh, this will be pretty useful. Reflect uh, projectiles. Huh. Let's see. Reflect has 90 second cooldown. Oh, okay. So it's kind of just a dodge effect, but that's not bad. That's really not bad. But I think I'm going to fight this guy. This will be like the last boss we fight. And then we'll go in and off the episode after that. I always want to see how he plays. I don't know if we'll actually defeat him. If we don't defeat him, that's all right. Because then I'll pretty much end off the episode after that. Looks like we might have to end off the episode with the way he's uh, hurting me here. I have no clue where he's at. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, welcome back, Mr. Stormweaver. So we can just barely outrun him. That's pretty good to know. But we weren't fast enough. Okay. Um, wow. How are we supposed to defeat him? Hmm. That might take a little more uh, out of the box thinking there. We might have to skip him for now. But I did say that will pretty much be the last boss fight we will do. And that I will end off the episode here. So we got a lot on our plates still. But we are 77% of the way through, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, we just have two more mini bosses, two more events, and the rest should be... Yeah, we have eight more normal bosses. Wow. But yeah, so if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. 
And with that out of the way, this has been Little 20 signing off. Bye-bye.